Howdy YouTube, my name is Cody and it's time for another Flips for Trips video where I talk about what sold on my eBay store in February of 2018. Here we go. So in February of 2018, in total on eBay, I had 99 items sell for a total gross sales number of $5,931.14. Now, I did a quick look at about how much I paid for those items and it came out to right around $2,000. Now for the fees, which include you know your eBay final, final value fees, your PayPal fees, your shipping cost, uh, and uh, my store subscription, all those fees came out to $1,542.54. Sorry, I keep looking over the side because I have my notes on each side of the camera. But so that came out to a net profit of $2,388.60. So on average, I paid $20 and it sold for $60 had $15 in fees for a $25 profit that was kind of about the average however that's a little misleading because one item throws all of that off with that being said the first item I want to talk about is my highest profit item that I sold on eBay last month it was a fluke multimeter now cue the pictures so this fluke multimeter I actually bought at a pawn shop uh, they had it listed for $600 I asked them you know what's the best they could do because I looked it up you know what it was selling for I asked them what's the best they can do on that multimeter and he told me $500 plus tax uh, so I grabbed it then the pelican case that is with it I ended up getting off of a uh, Craigslist deal and I got the Pelican case for $50. So I was selling it separately, but I decided to group them together since this was, you know, a higher end fluke multimeter. And so in total, I paid $600 and it sold for $1,375. There is $204.03 of that was uh, fees associated with it. So after my cost of goods, I made $570.96 off of that one sale alone. So that has me wanting to you know, look more into these bigger profit items because that was my highest profit item and that was just one item that I got at a pawn shop because I saw it was a good deal. So I'm definitely going to be keeping an eye out for more stuff like that. You know, I spent $600 and I made almost doubled my money so that was, that was really good. Now. Let's flip the script and talk about my lowest profit item. We all make mistakes. I talk about it on my Instagram, Flips for Trips. If you want to catch out, uh, catch some of the other stuff that I, you know, post up on there of my thrift stores and garage sale finds. But I got this beeswax coil candle. I got it at a garage sale, and I paid uh, five dollars for it. Now the candle sold on eBay for twenty dollars. You know, I saw some when I bought it that were selling for twenty-five to thirty-five dollars, and so I bought it, and it and then I listed it at thirty-five, and then I just kept dropping the price, and I finally sold when it kind of dropped it down to twenty dollars. The fees and the shipping on that came out to fourteen dollars and ninety-four cents. So I made a total of a whopping six cents on that candle that was my lowest profit last month terrible waste of time so but the, that's the thing about eBay you know you you constantly learn so you can get better you know what to buy when you're out at thrift stores you keep giving yourselves new criteria that you want to meet when you're buying something stick to it and that help that help that's how you get better so I talked about my highest profit. Now I want to talk about my highest return on investment item, the highest ROI. So there was two that I can talk about that are pretty much the same. And I'm going to talk about the one 
that is a little bit more more rare or more different that you probably don't know about. There is this I think it's, called, it's a Piscati uh, is the brand of it, and it's a shoehorn. Now I actually got an umbrella and a shoehorn. I sold the umbrella a couple months back for like hundred and forty dollars, but this shoehorn ended up selling. Oh, I forgot what it sold for. Put the listing up, but the final value like what i netted from that purchase was 105 dollars so i turned eight dollars into 105 dollars so that's close to uh 1300 percent return on investment and it took me i want to say five months to sell it it is kind of one of the different items now with that being said i want to talk about some other random things that i sold on ebay uh just throw up some listings so the first one we'll talk about is this 10 toys. These were uh, left over at a church sale. And I got a bunch of stuff. But these 10 toys, I guess you could say that I paid around uh, 10 bucks for them. And they sold for 40 The fees on it was $13.03. So I made about $17 off of these 10 toys. And I paid 10 So I wanted, you know, that's going forward that's not gonna meet my criteria but anyways I bought at a garage sale a partially used attic barrier uh, membrane tarp thing metal layer membrane whatever a heat heat guard or something but I bought this at a garage sale for like two dollars this this guy was they were moving they were getting everything at cheap cheap prices and I bought it for two dollars and it sold for whatever it sold for listed i forgot ah. but it's uh the fees on it was 24 dollars and 16 cents so just over 24 dollars in costs and fees so that leaves my profit at whatever it is up there i forgot my bad so the other thing i want to talk about is this this brand that i'm about to share with you is a money maker i found about out about this brand when i was at a a yard sale or a church sale and I looked it up I looked up the brand it was a velvet jacket and I looked up this brand and I was like oh man that's crazy but comps were kind of all over the place I didn't really know what to list it at I typically do very rarely do auctions but this was one thing is like man is this like worth a couple dollars or is it worth you know outrageous money I couldn't tell because prices were that everywhere on this brand but anyways, I listed the item at an auction starting at one penny. At the end of the seven days, that jacket that I got at that garage sale for like two bucks sold for $162. So I was like, man, whenever I see this brand, I need to look out for it. And sure enough, I was at a Goodwill and I saw this brand. Here it is. The Double D Ranchwear clothing brand, women's clothing brand is an amazing brand to keep your eye out on. I bought this jacket at Goodwill for uh, six bucks. There was sixteen dollars and eighty-seven cents in fees, and I sold it for what was it, seventy, eighty bucks. So I ended up profiting uh, over fifty dollars on that one jacket. So keep your eye out on Double D Ranch Wear jacket. It was really cool. It has like the little uh, bone imitation bone pieces or something it is a really cool jacket another thing I, I talked about on my Instagram were these old post office box covers they were at a garage sale I picked them up I picked the entire box up for $20 and I ended up selling them on eBay within a day for 80 bucks I probably could have got more the fees on it were I think another 15 bucks for the fees and then uh, so I profited like fifty dollars, forty-five or fifty bucks, on those. Now that's a little bit of a sneak peek of certain items that I sold on eBay. I sold a ton of video game bundles. I love video games. I sent a lot of video games in Amazon. Uh, so I sold a ton of video game bundles. Cue the roll. Picture, 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 picture. All right. <laughs> so I sold a ton of video game bundles, and that's about all it like I said you know total was 199 items for just over 5900 with a net profit of 2300 
So I want to make more. I'm growing my business constantly. I'm, I'm getting more picky about the items that I buy to constantly improve my store and make it better and better. Now, even though I only made you know $2,388 on eBay in February, on Amazon, just a quick note, I sold 333 items for $7,590, which came out to like a cost of about $1,700. Uh, fees were an Amazon fees, uh, shipping cost, the pro account cost, the FBA fees were like $2,900. So on Amazon FBA, I profited just over $3,000. So between eBay and Amazon, I did make uh, just over $5,400 in February of 2018, but I'm trying to raise it. My goal is, is to sell $250,000 between both those platforms this year. So I got to keep it up. I, I did meet my goal of, of 11000 I sold close to 13000 between the two, but yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the content, if you learned something, please like the video. Comment down below if you learned something new or if you have any questions. Subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. I'm going to do them at the end of every month. Or reach out to me on my Instagram, which is Slips for Trips. The email, flipsfortrips at gmail.com. Uh, the website, which is still a work in progress, trying to get some content up there and some blog posts coming. And again, I appreciate you watching. That's all for now. Thanks and gig them.